So briefly, when can White Snake fans expect White to Snake. see yeah. White yeah. Snake yeah. fans yeah. expect to hear a new LP? The album, I should imagine, will be the end of July. We're about six weeks behind schedule because of hiccups. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks very much indeed, David. For One of the region's stately homes at the weekend, but not to admire the tapestry and topiary. Nebworth House in Hertfordshire has, in its time, played host to some of Britain's leading literary figures. But on Saturday, it reverberated to the sound of heavy metal. Despite the rain, which had reduced the grounds of 15th century Nebworth House to a mud bath, about 75,000 people turned up. On stage, Meatloaf from America, showing few signs that he'd broken his leg falling off stage in Australia two weeks ago. The Nebworth Pop Festivals of the 70s were famous. Licensing difficulties followed a four-hour overrun one year. The Stones were found still playing at three o'clock in the morning. Now, after a five-year gap and with a new promoter, Nebworth was back with the recently reformed Deep Purple as the main attraction. Nebworth was famous in the uh, mid-70s, and Deep Purple were also very big in the mid-70s and broke up in the mid-70s, so it seemed logical when they reformed to put uh, the two back together. So who are the audience? Are they the sort of people who used to go and see them in the mid-70s, or is this a new generation? No, we've got both. We've actually got both. Despite what was to be an appalling mess the next day, Nebworth's owner was delighted to see the festival back. Well, one, I like rock music. Two, I'm trying to keep a, a very old crumbling house. It's been in the family for 500 years going, and we do all sorts of things here. Every weekend we have an event of one sort, sort, sort or another, and tomorrow we open for normal business at 11 o'clock. So business goes on. It's just another day in the Nebworth calendar. Have you had any problems ever with vandalism and people getting into your house? <laughs> Not at all, no. The, the crowds here have been fantastic. We've never had any problems at all, and they're great people who come here. And everybody seems to come to enjoy the music and have, have a great time. Despite the other attractions, most people were waiting for Deep Purple, a supergroup of the early 70s who split up in 74 and reformed earlier this year, promising to be every bit as good. Is it as good as the old Deep Purple? I think it's better. It's, uh, yeah. it's got more uh, fun. <laughs> She's working my strings, it's all right. Get off. <laughs> it's more fun, uh, it's more... Uh, there, there seems to be more reason for doing it. Before, it was just uh, like a treadmill. It went on and on and it went on, 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 on and on and on and we never had a holiday or a break and uh, this time we're doing it with much more enjoyment. It's great. I could be happier. You don't feel a slightly rude question. You don't feel a bit old for all this, do you? <laughs> no. Um, I am, after all, only 76 and, you know, I figured that I could go on well into my 10th uh, decade. A historic moment in rock music, Deep Purple playing live in Britain for the first time in 11 years. It got even wetter and even colder as the evening went on. Neither the stars nor the thousands in the audience seemed the least bit concerned. Great stuff, eh, Kim? Do you ever go to those sort of things? Uh, well, can't you tell from the gear? Of course. <laughs> no, actually, I, I steer clear of that sort of thing. 